Well, hello, 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 and welcome, everybody. Hope you're all well. Something a little bit different for me today. Quite excited about it, really. I've had a lot of fun doing it, although it has taken me a long time, which I'll um, uh, go into later. But I have made a couple of videos or animation, if you want to call it, or moving pictures, whatever you think they are. But uh, I've made these two videos out of a couple of images which I had. And I'm going to run them both for you. The first one, which is up on the screen here, I have named End of the Universe two uh, why it's two because i made the first one and slightly altered it uh, which i think is a better version which i'm going to show you i'm not going to be able to explain how i did this because it was so blooming complicated and it took me a long 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 time to make i actually worked it out and it worked out about every second of the video took me about 20 minutes <laughs> so you might be saying i'm absolutely mad and i should be locked up which is probably right but we go the second video i'm going to show you was the first one i made and i am going to be able to uh, do a, a rough breakdown on how i did it uh, which may be of interest to you if you want to give this a go because it is a lot of fun I must admit and uh, on cold rainy days you know sitting in a nice warm office doing this is all good so let's first of all run this uh, first clip uh, and it is with music and uh, then we will run the second one which I'll show you how I did it roughly Okay, so the second clip is this one, which I call Marching of the Ducks. And again, this is with music. So let's watch this and uh, then I'll try and run through with you how I created it. Okay, so I have opened up my base image of the duck in iColorama, which I'm using this editing software to do the first stage. And we're going to go up to uh, Form and Glitch, and I'm going to pick number 14. Now, if you see this slider down in the middle called size. If I move that all the way to the right hand side, you'll see that the duck moves off to the right hand side of the screen. 
which is what we want. But we're not going to just record that. It, actually, in hindsight, it would have probably been uh, an easier way of doing it. But I didn't think it would be very smooth. So we're going to zero this slider. And we're then going to put it on number one. We're going to go to the top right hand corner. And we are going to save that as a JPEG file. And then going to move the slider to number two. And again, save that as a JPEG. Then three, then four, then five, all the way through to the top end of the slider, which is 100. And that's how I got my initial images. So what we're going to do now is open that those images in shortcut. Um, I've only done, I'm only going to save 20, which will give you a, a, a good inclination on how it's done. So we'll open those up in shortcut and I'll see you in a minute. So I've loaded all the uh, 20, where's 21 images actually with the original into shortcut. Now this is not a tutorial on how to use shortcut. Um, I I can one only assume you either already know or if you don't there's plenty of um, tutorials out there to show you how. So this is the base image which we're going to uh, drag down onto our timeline. We're going to put that right the way up to the end and then we're going to start dragging or putting into the timeline all the other 20 images. There we go. You can either just click on the image um, up here in the playlist and then add plus or you can drag it and drop it in whichever way you find easiest. So I'm going to um, get all those images into the timeline and I'll be back in a minute. Right, we have our 21 images in our timeline. When I was doing the video, this would have been 101. But uh, the next stage is a little bit on the fiddly side. Now we need to blend these images together. Otherwise, when the video plays, it's going to sort of be very jumpy. <clears throat> so we're going to need to blend them. Now I'm going to enlarge the timeline here because it makes it a lot easier. And we're going to take the uh, second image and I'm going to see that is there's a, a counter down the bottom and that's four four seconds long. So I'm going to overlap that with the other one, uh, 120. And then we're going to draw the timeline in. And I'm going to overlap the next one by 120. And again, 120. So you can see this is not only fiddly, but quite time consuming especially when you have a hundred images to do. So again, I'm going to do this and I'll come back to you again in a minute. There are the 21 images blended together. So you can imagine how long it took me to do 101, but uh, that's what you've got to do. Now, if I play this now, you will see uh, this is at normal speed. We are actually going to speed this up eventually. But um, you can see at normal speed, the images are blending together quite nicely. No sort of massive jumping or anything like that. So that's that's pretty cool. So what I am going to do with this now is I'm going to export this as a file. Um, because we're, we're going to use this clip alongside, we, we're basically going to double up the clips and I'll tell you for why in a minute. But for the moment, we are going to go to export and we're going to export this file. And I'm 
just got it as YouTube Duck. So we're going to save that. And once it's saved, I'll be back again. So we've opened up the exported file into our new timeline. And if I play this, you can see that the transition is pretty smooth now. But what I want to do with this track is I want to reduce at this moment the um, or increase rather the speed at which this track plays. So I'm going to go up to properties and I'm just going to click that one there. Sorry, that's the wrong way. Try that. That's it. So it's actually reduced uh, the playtime on that. OK. And now what I want to do is open up a new audio or so, sorry, video track. So we're going to open that up. I want to open up exactly the same um, clip. So I'm going to go to that and open it up. And I'm going to drag that into the new video track. Now, what happens is when you play it, uh, sorry, no, I've got to go and um, blend mode, which is there. And we're going to blend it in overlay. Uh, now you see you've got the two tracks doubled up and it's basically giving you the impression that the there are more than just the one duck. You get more of an idea if you watch the whole video of the final clip. So that's what I did there. And now again, what I will do is I will export these two files into a fresh clip and then I will bring that back into shortcut <laughs> which I'll do again in a minute and I'll see you in a minute. So here we have our pretty much final clip with the uh, two amalgamated together and if I just play this now See the transitions, not bad, pretty good. And we're sort of doubling up as the video goes in on the ducks. Now I want to speed that up because that clip would take for ages. So we would go into properties and speed it up to what you think suits. Just have a look at that. There we go. So yeah, it's it's a case of playing around with it until you get somewhere where you need it. And that is pretty much it, except for the music. Now, we are going to, let's put that back, we're going to now open up an audio track and I'm going to go to the music and pick a track. Let's just stop that a minute. So I'm going to drag that down into the timeline. Now what I did with this is I reduced the uh, speed to which this plays at. So again, we're going to go into properties and I'm going to reduce the speed, which gives you this really eerie, eerie effect. Um, so let's get playing that. And I'm going to reduce it, play it again. But uh, it, that gives you the idea of what I did to get the uh, a final audio on it. Again, playing around with different speeds and uh, different lengths of the track. And that 
is pretty much it. Once you've got it, you save it, you export it, and you end up with the final video, which I am now going to play again for you so you can see the final result. Well, there you pretty much have it. I hope that hasn't been too confusing. Uh, I hope you understood some of it. But it gives you a basis to give it a go for yourself and uh, create something a little bit special. Or perhaps not special, but something a little bit different. Let me know which one you like. The first video, which I didn't actually show you the editing or the second one. As I said before, the first video just took me <clears throat> took me about two and a half days to make. Um, so I think uh, I think the answer to that is I need to get out more. <laughs> but anyway, thanks very much for watching. I've sort of enjoyed showing you how I did it. And, um, oh yeah, please remember that uh, there's actually 20% off my uh, prints as a sale up till Christmas if you fancy any of them uh, if you do the link to my website is below so yeah thanks very much for watching uh, I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself and uh, maybe I'll do some more sometime but I think just for the moment I need to get out and uh, take some more photographs so yeah until next time this is John Dexter saying bye for now